one word and the dark became light I believe it, I believe it, yeah You spoke my name and my heart came to life I believe it, I believe it, yeah I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it I'm gonna sing it right now
and when we get stuck, we need to show determination. Today will be in Acts chapter 3, and we're going to go all the way through Acts chapter 4, verse 21. We'll talk about two guys had an even more difficult challenge than those cats we just saw. Let's watch. One more. There. <sighs> Sounds like I always start things like this. I don't know. Hey, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're going to get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom! We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom! Puppet Head Theater. Triple boom! And... Wait, wait, wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh... Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? Uh... <laughs> what was it that time? Uh... Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. Oh yeah? What's happening? Uh... I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, but people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Uh... <sighs> you're right, let's call it a day. No, no, you're right. We have got to keep going. Just. Don't ask any questions. I'll try. Why was it? Nope, not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. pull on in. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Uh huh. So, who are you? We we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good, yeah, uh, so my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. Uh, you go first, Brandon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Viscus, mm. do you have what I mean to say, you do have a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. 
I presume. Ah, mm. Mm, I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. However, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. <laughs> oh, no kidding. What kind of slime? Uh, well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, okay. hey, uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask, what to say, mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. There, there's slime in there. God, oh, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's great, great. great. That's oh, awesome. awesome! What kind is this? Uh, what? Oh, ah, 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 ah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> This is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look at really it. Pulls like that and go bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey, it's blue. Yeah. <laughs> How long? Uh, uh, it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So, do you know what I mean? Uh... <gasps> oh! Oh, that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! <laughs> I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Fiscus! Oh, you're welcome! It's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you can keep those! <laughs> wow, thanks! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye! Bye, Bye, see ya! Oh, oh, Hope you can oh. see me! <laughs> <laughs> goodbye! Uh. So, what, what happens, happens next? Uh. It's, it's Bible, Bible Story Time with Kellen! Hey guys! Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know. Seems pretty normal to me. Yeah, all right. Well, I was gonna ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy, oh, we're, we're good. good. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change? Spare some change for a poor man? I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's the problem. Oh, you can now. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Uh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. I can walk. Look at that. I can also jump. Whoa. And, uh, uh, and I can, I can dance. Uh, go Jesus, uh, go Jesus, uh, go Jesus, you're the best. Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. 
When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. I may never stop dancing. Whoa! The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen, when you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished, though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out! Get out! Uh. The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh, yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John! Go! Woo! Right back at me! Whoops, whoops, whoops. The end. You guys, take a bow. Great story. My pleasure. Good job, John. Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. You know, I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well. That's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you... Uh, oh. I mean, why... Uh, Tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean... Yeah. Reveal, reveal the, the question. question! How are we supposed to... I, I mean, I mean, we can't say the... Without the... Ew, ew. I know. Oh, oh, wait. I've got it. What? What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough or smart enough or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Okay. John's show determination even when they were thrown into jail and put on trial. It was a pretty sticky situation, but Peter and John continued to follow Jesus and do what they knew was right.
They were able to make the wise choice when things were difficult because they knew it was worth it to finish what they had started. Because they kept going, even more people came to know Jesus. When life gets tough, we can have determination just like Peter and John did. We can trust God no matter what. We can rely on God and ask Him to give us the strength we need to keep going. So here's what I want you to remember. Keep going even when it gets tough. Maybe you're taking piano lessons and you like to play, but lessons are getting a little difficult. The music is harder and practice just isn't as fun as it used to be. Or maybe you joined the basketball team, but it's harder than you expected. Sometimes you feel like quitting, but with God's help, you can have the determination to finish what you started. Before we pray, let's take a look at this month's memory verse. It's found in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. It says, Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. In other words, don't give up, because good things will come from your determination. God can use your wide choices in big, huge ways. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for all of your many and, and wonderful blessings. God, they're blessings that we don't even deserve, but because you love us, um, God, you continue to give to us, and God, we are so thankful for that. God, help for us to have determination. Help for us to keep going even whenever things get tough. God, I know that every day a lot of us face things that, that are hard to get through. So, God, I pray that um, your spirit will help us. God, that you will uh, give us the, the strength and the determination that we need to keep going. God, we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, in our game today, here's what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a shower cap, or if you don't have a shower cap, you can just get a plastic grocery bag and just kind of line your head with it like a shower cap would. Um, then you're also going to need the foaming shaving cream, and then some Cheetos or other items like ping pong balls or something that you're going to be able to throw um, that's not going to hurt the person you're throwing them at. Uh, but earlier this week, I put up a video uh, with our attempt at this game. And now it is your turn. So I want you to find someone to play with you. One of you will be the thrower, and the other one will be the sticky Cheeto head. Whoever will be the sticky Cheeto head will place the shower cap or the grocery bag on their head. And this will protect your hair. Then you're going to cover up the shower cap or the bag with shaving cream. All right, you want to make sure that you're covering every inch of your head. All right, next, the other person will stand several feet away with a bowl of Cheetos or whatever object you have chosen to throw. The object of the game is to throw as many Cheetos as you can at the other person's head and get them to stick before the timer runs out. Make sure you keep your distance. Remember, we want to show determination and stick with it even when everything's get tough. If you need more time to get the supplies and get ready, then go on and pause this video now. But whenever you are ready, let's play in three, two, one. Get sticking.
had as much fun with that as we did. If you want to swap turns, and feel free to do so after this video. Um, but how did you do? Did you show determination and stick with it? Remember our bottom line says keep going even when it gets tough. I know we're all getting a little tired and restless with being at home and being away from our friends and our family, but this is also a great time to practice determination. God's been showing us this month that with His help, we can keep going and not give up. I hope that you have an awesome week, and I will see you next time.